Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. We're gonna jump in and do a weekly love snapshot for you. I thought it'd be fun to uh, start this and it's gonna be really quick, all right? So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get going here. We're going to talk about a little bit about uh, where you've been and then of course what it is that you need to know most. What is hidden, what is in the shadows, okay? That you're not seeing, okay? So let's take a look at that. Uh, where have you been? Let's take a look. If you'd like a personal read, go to The Guided Intuitive up here or my description box, all right? Um, uh, so let's jump into this and see what's going on for you. Where have you been? Oh, Wheel of Fortune, you're just finishing up a cycle here. Now, this is a lucky time for you. She's wearing dice around her neck, so this is a good time. What hasn't been working before is now coming around and things are changing. So the karmic cycle, karmic debts have been paid. Whatever lesson that you have learned about you, uh, specifically, you don't have to go back to that lesson. This is saying is that the karmic cycle has been changed, okay? So the old energy has changed. So the Wheel of Fortune means an ending with a brand new beginning in love, okay? Um, where do, what do you think that you want? What do you think that you want most, okay? You want balance, okay? You want leveling of the skills in the relationship or in the situation, whatever's brought you to my channel. So because because we're focusing on love for this, this tells me you might be done with a Libra, but you want things balanced in the relationship. Something for some reason has maybe perhaps been, uh, uh, you know, unbalanced within the scales, okay? Uh, and that's going to be very, very key. Um, what do you really need to know most um, as it relates to this relationship or situation? Uh, what is it that you need to know most here, okay? Knight of Pentacles. So this is about motion. This is about doing your everyday motions to be very efficient, routine-oriented, to do what it is that you need to do to take care of you right now. This is really key. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type energy. Okay. We are going to pull on what are in the shadows, uh, what you need to know most and being, you know, kind of routine oriented, doing your thing, making progress, doing what it is that uh, you need to do to bring prosperity and, and love into your life. So whatever that is to you, um, a couple of what you need to know uh, and what's hidden about you, what you need to know most is I think you feel like someone's watching you, okay? And maybe perhaps that you know that right now, that perhaps someone might be watching you if you're kind of getting that inkling of the feeling that that might be the case. So that's kind of what's in the shadows is that someone is really kind of watching you whether you know it or not. You kind of feel that. You just have this feeling, okay? Anything else and what you need to know most. Um, what you need to know most is that, you know, perhaps that you're waiting for, that 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 they perhaps um, uh, are waiting for a sign from you, okay? Um, they're waiting for a sign from you. So some of you, you already may have given them that sign, um, and that could be the case, but that's what I see coming through, is that they're waiting for a sign from you right now. Anything else that is hidden? Um, what they, what is hidden is that, um, that for you is that you're feeling that the truth about the situation has crushed you in some way, shape or form. Finding the truth within the relationship or situation is it's crushed you in some way, shape or form at this particular moment. Uh, and that's what you need to know most. Um, you also, uh, need to know that they think that you are the best thing in their life. Okay. And, and, and that's what I see coming through here. Now let's take a look at, let's do a reality check in terms of the relationship or situation. Okay. Let's take a look at this. This is kind of what you need to know most. Um, but I do want to go further and find out a little bit more about, you know, where you're at right now. What's the real reality check. Okay. <laughs> let's take a look at what that is for you. What's the real reality check here okay that you've got someone that loves you and that wants to persevere and they want to uh, no longer be felt like they're left out so this is the king of cups cancer Scorpio Pisces energy someone that's very romantic and charming is is is, is you know really um, you know you want that in your life your reality check is that what you want but this is saying is that um, you know, this is about continuing to persevere in love and what you, the reality check right now is that you're going to persevere. You're not going to give up for some of you. It could be within this relationship or situation with this person is that you want motion from this person. Okay. You don't want to, you want to get out of feeling left out. But th what this is talking about is the key is here that you can put into the door and open up and then get into the light. So this is saying is that you've got the key to the situation at hand. Okay. And, uh, that is one thing that's really, really important for you to know, okay? What you need to know most about this in terms of your reality check is what? Uh, what you need to know most in terms of this reality check 
is that there's still a lot of passion here. This wants you to let your heart sing with joy. This truly does. Um, it wants you to live in passion and, and it wants you to allow your heart to express and to be and to fill yourself with joy at this particular time. Okay. Uh, that's going to be super key for you right now. Okay. Anything about this reality check right now that's important? That it's good that you get your rest right now and kind of revive yourself with the energy of the heart as it pertains to matters of the heart. So this is about going into hibernation mode, Aqua, and really kind of, you know, getting that energy back, you know, kind of fulfilling the love for yourself right now, loving you, kind of going in a little bit of a cocoon to love yourself and, and treat yourself like the goddess that you are. This is what I'm feeling. So you can revive your heart, right? So you can let your heart beat again, right? And that's how I feel for some of you. Uh, it's really coming through, okay? So that is what the reality check is. You need some rest before you move forward and continue to persevere in love, okay? Uh, and this is about calling on your tribe. Talk, you know, getting around those who have your back, right? This is about getting involved. It's about communications. It's about you want teamwork and collaboration. You might have to go in and wait for this other person to come around before any sort of teamwork or collaboration. Now, that's for those of you that are waiting. Now, some of you might not just be waiting here. And this is about doing your own thing. And that very much well could be. And you're calling upon, you know, uh, the stars, right? The stars that you are, your fellow aquas around you. Uh, you know, and, and support each other down there, guys. Definitely in your comments. Definitely know your comments. Let's support each other and be a part of that tribe that holds each other up, right? Especially when you are, you know, reviving yourself and need to move forward. Yeah. And you're showing up in your own energy. And this allows you to stay connected to your dream. When you connect with your tribe you and you connect with yourself, you can connect to your dream, okay? Uh, and that's what I see here. What is the advice that the universe, um, that, you know, in this relationship, relationship, uh, you know, in terms of this week, that's going to be most important that you need to know most. Okay. What is the advice? I get the Hierophant card, which is beautiful. That's Taurus type energy. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I get the King of Cups too. Yes. Okay, guys, this kind of re kind of re kind of confirms what we've talked about. Now the Hierophant is about, you know, being enlightened, your connection with source to the star, right? And this is your connection with the stars here and calling on your tribe in connection with the stars, right? So it's all, all connected. We're all connected, right? Um, and, uh, that is really, really key. But the Hierophant is kind of like, you know, you are becoming very, very, enlightened in terms of your path on how you want to move forward what is your gut telling you on how you want to move forward right what does that look like for you is what I feel here this is about you know some sort of tradition that you maybe believed about yourself and now there has been maybe some sort of change in that belief or tradition or you're being enlightened by getting um, you know insights uh, you know, maybe you're speaking with someone, uh, perhaps, you know, on your path that is uh, uh, able to give you some sort of advice or insight that allows you to go in and think of what works for you. You know, what is your body telling you in terms of moving forward? What is going to be the best decision for you? This is saying that it's important that not only that you re-energize yourself that we talked about in the Four of Wands, but we got the King of Cups. This is about balancing emotions. So the advice is to let emotions balance in this relationship or situation. Both sides need to balance a little bit is what I'm thinking. This is a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You might have that in your chart. The other person might have it in theirs because what's going to happen, it needs to create balance. The universe wants to step in and help create balance for you. Okay. And there's going to, this is about an equal give and take. And this is about a birthing of something new, the birthing of the brand new energy, right? After the closing out of an old cycle and beginning of a new, this is about balancing things out, but it has to have some equal give and take. You're really set on the balance of things, balancing emotions, balancing the, you know, the energy within the relationship, right? Uh, just so it's not as a teeter totter on anything that's codependent or leads to anything that's uh, any, you know, sort of obsessiveness or anything of the sort. Um, anything else that's going to help you that you need to know? Let's take a look at what it is in terms of your advice uh, in terms of moving forward. Yeah, death is an illusion. This is about when something comes to an end, it's just a transformation, okay? This is saying is that you are a physical body uh, within a soul, right? It's a spirited soul that actually takes the lead, okay? You just happen to have a physical body. And this is saying is that um, and nothing ever dies or comes to an end. It just transforms. So if you could think about our relationships that teach us to learn, to love, and to grow, right? 
So if you think about it, by the end, it is just a transformation and you don't know what that's going to involve. You know, it might not be not for, it might be something that is, uh, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, forever, we're never going to get back together or it's never going to happen. Well, if you keep saying that, that's what your, the universe is going to respond to and bring you more of that. But what this talks about is that things just transform. All right. So then you transform to a higher level. Right. And that's what's coming into place. So this is saying is that an ending is an illusion that you're just transforming and, and you as you transform. So is that other person. Yeah. And accept your struggles in the relationship as lessons that you both can learn. OK. Within the relationship or situation. OK. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to end it there. I'm sending you lots of love. Let me know if these quick little snapshots work for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, namaste.